Hello, welcome to another week of Stat 432. Uh, in particular, this is week number nine. So let's look at that part of the website like we always do. Again, these intro videos are probably getting pretty repetitive, but I'm gonna still do them. Okay, so um, pretty normal week this week. Introduce a new concept, you have a quiz, we have office hours, we have reading. I think you know the drill. So um, the big idea this week is something called regularization, and obviously we'll talk a lot about that. But sort of the, I think the, the main takeaway here is what we're doing is we're adding sort of, um, additional constraints or information to our models. And one of the specific ways that's gonna happen is we're, we're sort of very specifically and purposefully adding bias. Um, and the hope, and what we'll see happen sometimes is that introducing that bias actually decreases our prediction error. So um, that's, that's kind of a big idea in all of statistics, um, but we're gonna look at sort of the application of it here um imagining this may be the first time you see something like that okay so it, the, the two specific methods we're going to look at one is called ridge regression one is called the lasso um i don't have a lasso to demonstrate that but i think in that video i mentioned where that naming comes from um right uh, videos the usual quiz don't forget you can still get credit for some of the older quizzes if you haven't completed them yet um the regular office hours schedule um yeah that's it um Obviously, uh, we're not too far away from exam two, so that information is coming soon. But hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, exam two should be a lot less uh, stressful than exam one because everything about exam two is going to be very similar to exam one. Meaning, um, uh, the the process of going through the CBTF online and using Prairie Learn for an exam, all of that is the same. Basically, the only difference between exam one and exam two is exam one covered the first four quizzes or exam two covers these most recent four quizzes. So in my opinion, by taking exam one and then doing uh, quizzes, what is it? Five, six, seven, and eight, you're prepared for the exam. But more on that in the next uh, weekly intro video, uh, which means that's enough of this one. So as always, if you made it to the end of the video, good job, and I will see you in the next one.